Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I am finally doing the next Watch My Collection video. If you watched my last video or my top 20 polishes of 2017's video, you will know that I am <laughs> trying to figure out a Swatch My Collection schedule. Um, you know, it's hard. I got a baby. I can't do these videos often. <laughs> But I am doing today's, um, and in my last Watch My Collection video, an overwhelming amount of people wanted to see the drugstore video, so I have 10 drugstore polishes here to share with you. Um, I'm not going to leave any of them in the description, I because I don't know I don't know what to link, what do you want, Adam Walgreens? I don't know, but some of them are like German um, drugstore, so I don't know what to link, uh, but I will list them all in the description box below. I don't know what's available. I don't know a whole lot about drugstore polishes, but I like them, so <laughs> let's go ahead and get into it. So first up is from Sally Hansen, and this is in the shade Petal to the Metal. I guess this is in their new Insta Dry line. Um, they had reformulated or rebranded um, or something. I didn't know that. I picked it up because it was really beautiful, and I was not disappointed. The brush on this is a little bit difficult to use. It's very, very long, it's very wide, and it is pretty stiff. Um, so it's not my favorite brush that I've ever used. Um, it's not impossible, but it, it could be better. So, But it had a great formula, two coats. It made an absolute mess coming off of my nail, though. Um, I got, like, glitter and huge shimmer particles everywhere. It was all over the... I started with the messiest polish, <laughs> so... Um, it is beautiful though, as a full manicure, it, it really was stunning, so. But in my swatch photo, you're gonna see two coats of Petal to the Metal and a glossy top coat. Next up, I have a couple of CoverGirl polishes, and the first one is in the shade Smoky Taupe. And this is a beautiful mauve cream polish. It was fantastic to work with, easy to use, almost opaque in one coat. Um, I did go ahead and do two coats, just to like level everything out. Um, but if you're in a pickle, one coat of this is really beautiful and it dries very glossy. It dries a little bit slower than I'm used to. I think I'm spoiled with the Indies. Um, it dries a little bit slower than I'm used to, but it's it's not bad. In my swatch photo, you're going to see two coats of Smoky Taupe and a Glossy Top Coat. The other CoverGirl polish that I have to share with you today is in the shade Give Them the Green Light. Um, this is a beautiful deep hunter green cream polish. Easy to use, easy to work with. It's a little bit patchy. Um, you know, after swatching Smoky Taupe, I expected this one to just kind of be like the wow factor because it's a lot darker of a color. I figured it would be a little bit more opaque, a little bit less patchy. It wasn't. It was It was the same. You know, I mean, it's beautiful. It's great color. It builds up really, really nicely. And it looks really cute as a full manicure, but... Um, you know, I don't know, I just like with, with some, I don't know, I expect like a wow factor, you know what I'm saying, and I guess I shouldn't, I don't know, I sound snobbish, but I'm not trying to. In my swatch photo, you're going to see two coats of Give Them the Green Light and a Glossy Top Coat. I am such a polished snob. Next up, we have Sinful Colors and Blue. Endless Blue, and I know a lot of people like this color, and I didn't. Um, it, it applied fine. It was great in two coats. It smells like absolute pot, dank, marijuana, however you add it. It stinks like, um, it stinks. Um, but, I mean, overall, it's a pretty manicure, and it's one of those, like, that jumps off your nails, and it's so bright and vibrant. Um, but it's not my shade. I, I don't I don't care for this. I don't like it on my nails. It's okay as a polish itself, but not for me. Um, but in my swatch photo, you're gonna see two coats of Endless Blue in a glossy top coat. Next up, I have Bite Me from Simple Colors, and I hated this. <laughs> um, this is a red shimmer glitter base with black micro and larger hex glitter. This was limited edition for Halloween, um, and I picked it up because it was, again, something that I hadn't seen before, um, and I just didn't care for it. It took three coats to be almost opaque. It might be better, like, as a topper, um, but it was quite dense with the red shimmer, so I feel like you would only really be able to use it over a red, which is fine. Um, it's just like when I see the 
bottle like this. I want this on my nails. <laughs> and I didn't quite get that. So I was a little bit disappointed in this one. Just, I guess, not my cup of tea. But either way, you're going to see three coats of Bite Me in a glossy top coat. The next half of... <laughs> The next half of the video, I do really like everything here. So next up we have um, Gimme More from Manhattan. This is a beautiful burgundy with a silver shimmer. This has a fantastic formula, a beautiful brush, easy to use, easy to work with. I loved everything about this polish. I could have worn this because I did swatch it around Christmas the entire season. I mean, I, I could have. Um, God, I just watched that around Christmas. This is going up so late. Um, this is, this is nice though. Completely opaque in two coats. Goes on like butter. It's smooth, easy to work with. Everything that you want in a polish, this is. So in my swatch photo, you're going to see two coats of Gimme More and a glossy top coat. Next up is from the brand Annie. And I have used a couple of these on my channel below before I believe. Um, I did get these from a friend in Germany a couple years ago. Um, so I'm slowly making my way around using all of them. This is in the shade Party Is Started and it's this beautiful deep ox bloody red cream polish. Completely opaque in two coats. Has a beautiful easy to work with formula. It's one of those beginner friendly polishes that anybody can get and not mess up. But I will say if you get this in your cuticles it is a B to get out. I don't know if it's because my cuticles are super dry right now due to the weather. But I did flood one of my nails and you can tell <laughs> because it it stayed it made its home in my cuticle and it didn't come out so um but this is beautiful I, I really really thoroughly enjoy this one so in my swatch photo you're going to see two coats of party is started and a glossy top coat up next we have grazy and love from catrice and this is just a beautiful taupey gray cream polish Again, a fantastic, easy to work with, one to two coat formula. I did go ahead and do two coats because, you know, consistency. Um, but if you needed to get it on and go, this would be easy to do in just one coat. And it dries glossy and it dries decently quick. So, you know, those pickle situations. This has a nice brush. I do really enjoy the Catrice brushes. They are wide, but they're not that wide where it like floods my sidewall because I do have the strong C-curve in my nails. So in my swatch photo, you're going to see two coats of Grazy and Love in a glossy top coat. I lied. I don't like this one either. Um, so this is Catrice's Acid DC, but it's got like the A and the C capitalized where it's like ACDC. Um, this is like a metallic yellow green like a lemon lime green yellow I I am a sucker and I can really appreciate an ugly shade but this is ugly like I don't like it um it's got like a greeny shimmer running throughout it and it's just not cute I couldn't imagine a situation where I would wear this and I'm no stranger to loving on pea greens and mustard yellows and baby poop colors and browns. So this is ugly to me, but it had a nice formula-ish. I mean, two to three coats. It's a, it's a lighter color. Yellows are notoriously hard. It's a little bit streaky. I am dogging on these so hard. <laughs> In my swatch photo, you're going to see three coats. Ugh, I swatched this so long ago. You're either going to see two or three coats of acid DC. However many coats were in the swatch video, that's how many you're going to see in the photo. And the last polish is from the brand Koki or Cookie. Um, and this is in the shade Gone Rio. This is a beautiful, bright, summery, vibrant pink. I love this. This is so bright on your nails without needing a white base. And it looks even more bright on your nails than it does in the bottle. I'm trying to look at my viewfinder and I can't really tell but I think it's a lot brighter on your nails than it is in the bottle um, fantastic easy to work with two coat formula I believe I really did like this brush yes this has um, again that really nice wide brush that doesn't flood my sidewalls um, so I really enjoy the brush on this beautiful great formula easy to work with so in my swatch photo you're gonna see two coats of gone Rio and a glossy top coat 
And that is it. I'm so sorry because I feel like I was really mean to these polishes. They weren't that bad. They weren't, they weren't bad. It's just like, you know, I hated the simple colors. I really hated the Catrice. And then Sally Hansen was messy. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I'm being persnickety here, aren't I? But in the description box below, I will have my Instagram handle if you want to see more swatches of everything in today's video. Um, my next video, I am going to go ahead and do a high-end video where I will have my Louis Vuittons, Burberry's, Marc Jacobs, whatever I happen to pull out. I know I have way too many to show in just one video, so I'm going to have to narrow it down to 10. And then the week after that, I'm going to go ahead and do one of my Lemmings List videos. Again, I have way more than 10 because I have been collecting those throughout the year. Um, so I'm going to narrow those down to 10 and then... I'm going to do a couple, a couple like maybe one indie and one mainstream video. And then I'm going to start the cycle back over. I'm going to go with drugstore, um, high end, and lemmings again. So I have like my next three, six, nine, nine swatch my collection videos um, planned out. I just have to actually film them. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you'd like to see more from me. And I will talk to you again next time. Bye.